The solar system is simply the name of our own planetary system. Our solar system consists of one central star and the smaller objects that orbit it in space, including eight planets, 200 plus moons, 4,584 numb comets, and more than 1 million asteroids. Today, we will talk about amazing facts about our solar system. There are eight solar system planets. The eight planets of our solar system are divided into the inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The inner planets, so named because they orbit closest to the Sun, are solid balls of rock and metal, while the outer planets with orbits beyond the asteroid belt are basically giant balls of gas. Despite being called gas giants, intense heat and pressure cause their gases to compress into liquid metal or rock near their centers. All planets named after Roman gods except Uranus, Earth. The name Earth is derived from the Old English German word for ground or soil, with the term having been in use for at least 1,000 years old. All of the other solar system planets are then named after Roman gods except Uranus, which takes its name from the Greek god the sky Uranus. If the planet was named after its Roman equivalent, it would have been called Callus. Uranus is also the only planet in the solar system to rotate on its side, and like Venus, rotates on its axis clockwise, with all the other planets rotating counterclockwise. Here are some more fun facts about the solar system planets presented in order of their distance from the Sun. There are five naked eye planets visible from Earth. There are five naked eye planets, and these so-called wandering stars that move relative to the fixed stars have been known since antiquity. In the 1600s, the invention of the telescope then ushered in new planetary findings with first Uranus, 1781, and then Neptune, 1846, discovered. Pluto was also found in 1930, but in 2016, it was downgraded to dwarf planet status by the International Astronomical Union, IAU. Over time, the Earth was also recognized as being just another planetary body circling a central star in space. There are 200 plus moons in our solar system. There are more than 200 moons in our solar system, with most of the planets, except Mercury and Venus, having their own natural satellites. Moons don't just orbit planets, though and some dwarf planets and asteroids have their own natural satellites. The dwarf planet Pluto, for instance, has five known moons, including Charon, which is around half the size of Pluto, while the asteroid 130 Electra has three minor moons circling it. Jupiter has 79 known moons, including Io, Europa, Callisto, and our solar system's biggest moon Ganymede, which is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Saturn also has a similarly high number of moons, with the solar system's second largest moon Titan roughly half the size of Earth's moon. The IAU recognizes five official dwarf planets. There are currently just five officially classified dwarf planets in our solar system, recognized by the International Astronomical Union. These are Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris, although many more potential candidates also exist. Of these, Ceres is the only one located inside the asteroid belt, while the other dwarf planets are found near the Kuiper belt contains three regions of space debris from early solar system formation. The prevailing origin story of the solar system is that the sun and planets form from a cloud of gas and dust called a solar nebula. There are three main structures in our solar system that are composed of remnants from the solar system's early formation, namely the asteroid belt, Kuiper belt, and Oort cloud. Between Mars and Jupiter lies the asteroid belt, a donut-shaped region that consists of rock, stone, and metal in lesser amounts. It is believed that in the early evolution of the solar system, this region once contained enough material to form a planet, but Jupiter's intense gravity stopped the materials from successfully coalescing. Our solar system resides in the Milky Way galaxy. The solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. While there may be more than 250 billion stars in the Milky Way, until recently, Astronomers knew of only one planetary system, our own. That changed in 1992 
when radio astronomers detected two rocky planets orbiting a pulsar in the constellation of Virgo. Since then, over 700 other planetary systems have been discovered, and in 2022 the James Webb Space Telescope was also able to capture the first direct image of a planet outside of our own solar system. Scientists now estimate that there may be as many as 100 billion solar systems in our own Milky Way alone. Sunlight takes over a year to exit the solar system. The sun lies at the center of our solar system and is a huge glowing ball of plasma, or highly ionized gas, located 93 million miles, 150 million chem, away from our own planet. The sun's immense gravity means a photon of light can take 100,000 years to travel from its core to its surface, after which, traveling at the speed of light, 186,000, 282 miles per second. Sunlight is able to cross the vacuum of space and reach us in just 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Our nearest star system is 4.24 light years away. The closest solar system to our own is Proxima Centauri, which is part of a triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star that hosts three confirmed planets, one of which orbits within the star's habitable zone. It is also found 4.24 light-years away, or 25 trillion miles from Earth. To put that vast distance into perspective, the Voyager 1 spacecraft, currently traveling at 35,000 miles per hour, would take around 70,000 years to reach our nearest stellar neighbor. It, of course, would have entered Proxima Centauri's planetary system a long time before then, though. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.